New stats show that nearly 4 out of 10 people in the UK suffer from pain, headaches, backaches, basically all kinds of problems. The research from Tesco Pharmacy also show that many of us are bemused when it comes to dealing with these problems and we don't really know what to do. Well, one person who knows all about dealing with pain is Claire Buckfield, the star of Dancing on Ice. For many weeks, she was thrown around an ice skating rink, suffering all kinds of bumps and bruises. Claire, thank you very much for coming in today. You're welcome. Now, what we're going to do, you're going to tell us what ails you and our top doctor, expert, Dr. Rob Hicks, is going to offer you all the advice and tell you what to do. So kind of tell me about what your first problem was. Okay, I think my first problem, we'll start with an easy one, we're, we're, we're working gently, was probably headaches actually. I couldn't get used to the spinning um, and I had constant headaches. Now using an appropriate scale to do with, I suppose, ice skating, tell us uh, how much it hurt. Okay, on a scale out of six, I'd probably give that a two. Over now to Dr. Rob Hicks for some advice. Well, of course, over-the-counter painkillers like paracetamol or ibuprofen will treat most headaches very successfully. It's very important to try and rest and relax because stress will make headaches much worse. And ideally, if you can pinpoint what's triggering the headaches, do your best to avoid these. Now, uh, what other kind of problems did you suffer? Um, I, I think probably midway I had a, a, a pulled calf muscle and a pulled thigh muscle mm. so that was quite painful and that needed a lot of attention. Now on the same kind of scale how would you rate it? Um, I guess I would rate that as a three. A bit more painful then? Yeah. Okay Dr Rob one more time what should we do? Well we use the RICE therapy that's R for rest, I for ice, C for compression and E for elevation and the ice component you can use a bag of frozen vegetables like sweet corn for example wrap them in a towel press them against the inflamed joint or the inflamed muscle. Now, paracetamol or ibuprofen will relieve the pain, but ibuprofen's probably your winner here because it also calms down inflammation. OK, we've had headaches, we've had pulled muscles. Time now for the biggie. What was the worst injury you had? Well, I think I saved the best for last. Uh, the worst injury that I had was two fractured ribs. And how does that score on the pain chart? Oh, I've got to give that a six, absolutely. Well, fractured ribs, they can be really very painful. Ideally, you want to rest as much as possible to give the bones a chance to heal properly. Then, of course, while time is the healer for fractured ribs, keep yourself out of pain with a good painkiller. Now, paracetamol might be enough, ibuprofen might be enough, or you may need something stronger like codeine. And indeed, this is where your doctor or indeed your pharmacist can be of great help in helping you to identify what's the best painkiller for your problem. Now, of course, Tesco pharmacies have published a very helpful booklet to help you through the process of deciding what painkillers might be appropriate, whether you've got broken ribs or indeed headache, period pains or joint and muscle aches. And you can get them free just by coming into the pharmacy. You also, of course, get excellent advice from your pharmacist. Dr. Rob, thank you very much indeed. Claire, thank you very much. Do you feel that you've learned something? It's been very educational. Marvellous stuff. Claire and I are now off to the ice skating rink where I'm going to show her my triple axle with a double split. <laughs> Goodbye.